Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. No one from my family showed up because I married my sister's crush. Throw away account. My sister and my husband went to college together. She had a crush on him since day one. He was all she talked about. They became part of a very close group of friends and that same year she invited him and her friends to spend boxing day with my family. That's where I met him. We had sex that same night and I felt horrible. My sister eventually moved on. She met her husband and she got married last summer. During all these years my husband and I met sporadically and one of the times he told me he loved me but what could we have done? We tried to date others and I tried to forget him but I couldn't imagine myself with anyone else and that made my relationships short and loveless. We met again officially at my sister's wedding, she had invited all her college friends, my husband and I met and he asked me to stop running away and we started dating secretly. A year later he proposed. Now I had to tell my family. I have never endured so much hate and isolation in my whole life. I lied to them. I told them that we met at my sister's wedding and we hit it off. I never told them how I've been in love with him for almost a decade and that we have met at least once a year since that Christmas and they've been the best days of my life. My sister is happily married and she just had her baby. Still she told me she hated me and never wanted anything to do with me. My family shared the same sentiment. That I'm a horrible person. My husband told me he didn't care about a wedding if my family not showing up would hurt me. We have wasted many years and that we didn't choose to fall for each other. He wanted me to be his wife. I still sent invitations to my family but nobody showed up. Only my friends and my husband's family. I wish they could forgive me for finally choosing my happiness. Edit to add, I'm getting a lot of questions about telling the whole story. I don't know what more I should have written here other than this. Maybe I didn't do a good job about my sister's crush. My sister is outgoing and she was always open with her thoughts and feelings so her crush on my husband was a well-known thing to us sisters and mother. And it was known for the longest time. That's why. One if they had known about me and him going back longer than what I've said, believe me they would have confronted me a long time ago, given their strong reaction after I told them even after all these years. They wouldn't be silent if they knew something was up. Also they were really shocked and felt that I betrayed my sister and hurt her feelings because he's an old crush and we don't date each other's crushes let alone marry them. 2. I misjudged my sister's crush. We all knew she was in love and that she was hurt when he didn't reciprocate but I thought by the time she met her husband she was over him. Now I'm not sure. 3. I haven't spoken to my sister's husband in months but from what I've heard, he's not happy about her reaction and things aren't going so well with them. This is also added to why my family is angry, because I caused the rift between my sister and brother-in-law. 4. New edit, we are four sisters, I'm the second oldest and my sister in question is the youngest. All four of us are of similar age and closer, were anyway, than best friends. This adds more because she feels really betrayed. 5. Yes, I have made a post before on relationship advice. I just couldn't find it. 6. Many are saying my sister is here somewhere with her side of the story. Please send me the link because I've been searching since this morning. I really hope I filled all the missing information now. Sorry for not being clear and I'm sorry this isn't adequate as the full story. Last edit, I'm getting DMs that my post is on TikTok. And that my sister is in the comments saying that I lied and that she had in fact dated my husband for 5 years. Where is this comment since I'm overwhelmed with the amount of replies and DMs so if some kind soul could just tag me on her comments. There's no truth to that. It's either a troll or some other op because all the people who said my sister has answered are refusing to show me her post. Anyway, I'm going to send an email to my family tonight and include the whole truth. It's my last attempt at redemption. 
If they still don't want anything to do with me I will leave them be and move on with my life and try to find solace in my new family. Thank you all for listening. Does all your family and your sister think you guys got involved the day of her wedding? Or do any of them know about when you met? Nobody knows. I can't tell them the truth. That's so weird your whole family is acting like that then. Your sister is married, has kids. And it's been a decade. I genuinely don't understand why they would hate you. Did your sister explain why? I feel like op but isn't telling us the whole story. 100%. The only way I can see it making sense that the whole family have cut her off over this is if he wasn't an unrequited crush of sisters at all and they were actually together and sister has always been suspicious that the change in the guy's attitude toward her came right after he met up, which she feels was confirmed when op admitted to being with the guy. Or at least that she stole my boyfriend is the story the family are being told by sister. Anything else is just them behaving like absolute crazy people. Yeah, because how can the sister, who moved on from the crush, be upset that her sister is getting married to the guy she liked years ago? Then on top of it, her reaction is causing trouble in her own marriage, which obviously means there's feelings still there after all this time. Update, I married my sister's crush. Hi everyone. I thought I could make an update about my post since I received a lot of advice about coming clean to my family about when and how I started dating my husband. Sorry it's very long but at least nobody can complain that I've left out some details. But before that I want to clarify a few points. If you want the update skip two paragraphs. My sister has not written any posts about her side of the story. I got a lot of, abusive, DMs yesterday from people who pretend to have talked to my sister about how she was dating my husband for 5 years, not only unanswered crush, and yet nobody could or would send me the post. One redditor sent me something from Ito about a lady whose daughter made an ultimatum about her choosing one of her grandchildren. That's not me. I don't have children. I only ever have written one post about this before and it was when I sent the wedding invitations and my family said they won't come. Of course there will always be people who doubt my story, I always see at least 10 comments on every post ever written here about it being fake, why are you PPL like this? To those people I have only one thing to say to it gaff. Also many asked about the full story because my mother's reaction was so strong. I have tried to explain it in the comments. My sister is the youngest and everyone's favorite, heart, and her crush on my husband was well known and when he didn't reciprocate her feelings my mom was very hurt for her sake, as for the rest, they just do what mom says since she's the matriarch of the family. I would have understood their reaction if they knew the whole truth because I will never forgive myself for what I did. My only comfort is that before we spent that night together, my husband told me that he never liked my sister that way and he wouldn't be with her no matter if I was with him or not. He kept saying that, and that he saw her as a sister even later throughout the years. Now to the update, as I said many of you suggested that I should come clean. And there are pros and cons. Pros is that it's the right thing to do. And if my sister wants to hate me she has the right to know the full extent of my betrayal. I will never pretend what I did back then was right. I just fell for him, is that a good enough excuse? And seeing that I still love him so many years later, it was real from the beginning. Cons is that it would probably hurt my sister even more and probably jeopardize her marriage even more if it turns out she's still hung up over my husband. So I wrote a long email to my mother telling her everything and asking her what I should do. I texted her to go read it. That was last night. This morning she called me and was so cold. She didn't ask how I've been, didn't congratulate me, didn't ask about my husband. She was on point and warned me about telling my sister anything. She said that my brother-in-law has moved out from their home and is asking for divorce. So if I told my sister everything now it will only make it worse for her. She said that I'm not allowed to contact my sister in any way and for any reason. I should leave her alone and move on with my life. 
She said that she couldn't believe her eyes when she read my email and how horrible I actually have been towards my sister worse that I thought my mom's coldness made me understand how much I've hurt my family. I apologized about everything. I apologized for my sister and for breaking our family. She said, is there anything else? Fine goodbye then. Later my oldest sister called me. She has always been the gentlest and she told me that she missed me and that mom told her everything. The separation between my little sister and her husband is serious. They have been fighting for months now and he left on my wedding day because my sister was very angry and crying all day. Big sister said that they didn't want to bother me with these details during my honeymoon. I asked her if she was angry at me and she said that none of them actually is, maybe except little sister, but that I should give it time. I've talked to my husband now about everything and I asked him if we have messed up. He just comforted me and told me to be patient, but I don't know. Our marriage started with hardship and at the cost of one of my favorite people and her husband. I'm so sorry. Edit, please, I'm gonna have to ask you to stop talking about the sister's side of the story. I'm too old for TikTok but whatever is going on on TikTok about my sister having dated my husband is BS. This is so disrespectful to my husband. He's never been unfaithful. He loved me for almost 10 years and yet he never cheated on any of his GFS with me. We went for long periods of North Carolina when he was in a relationship, so cheating on my sister is just a cruel cruel rumor, please stop. And please stop DMing me about TikTok unless you have my sister's alleged post. Like genuinely what was your sister expecting you to do? No marry your husband, have her divorce her husband, and start dating your husband all for a chance they'd end up together? No. What your sister is doing screams of the entitlement of incel shit. Just because she had a crush on him does not at all suddenly make him her property. You don't call dibs on a human. What your sister is doing reminds me of all those guys I dealt with in middle school slash high school who claimed they were my friends just to try and get me to break up with my boyfriend and sleep with them. Friends that gave poisonous advice to purposely hurt my relationships to give themselves a chance. Your sister needs to grow up. You didn't hurt your family. Her incel shit did. Her marriage is falling apart because of her not you. You're not the issue, your husband isn't the issue. The issue is your sister and her hang-ups and your mother for showing favoritism and not shutting that shit down like a responsible adult. Edit, thanks for the awards. I'd like to thank you personally but I have mobile problems. Yes. This story makes me really uncomfortable because the sister sounds like the guys who used to project their crap onto me after meeting me once and deciding, based on nothing, that I was the one. You get some really crazy, manipulative nonsense out of those situations. I feel badly for Rob's husband. I dealt with those guys all throughout high school and as soon as I read this I was getting those flashbacks. I'm sorry you had to go through the one like I did. I don't wish that on anyone. I'm sorry Op's husband has to go through that too. Not only this but geez, the poor husband of the loony sister. I don't know what he was aware of beforehand but to just have to know your wife's first choice is not you and that she is still hung up about someone else is insane. I would be so devastated. Good for him for leaving. Quick question, the guys, plural? I'm a 46 year old bloke here and I'm always astonished to hear how some other guys treat girls. I always wonder whether I was friends with genuine okay, not psycho slash intel, types or if I just didn't see it. I'm not trying to say I was perfect. I distinctly remember some pretty cringe actions on my behalf which still make me cringe. Your mom is being manipulative and showing blatant favoritism, nothing you did was ever gonna be good enough as long as your little sister is unhappy. You've done nothing wrong and have nothing to be sorry for. It's your mom's fault your sister is like this in the first place and assumed your husband would like her back because your mom gave her everything she wanted in the first place. Exactly, how is what she did to her sister even close to as bad as what the sister is doing to not only her husband but her child too? The mom is a goddamned joke. 
My husband is trying so hard to assure me that he never was interested. Even before he met me and even if we never had met. I don't know, I still feel shit about it. But thank you very much for being kind. I have had lunch with my brother-in-law today. Good evening everyone, I thought I might make a new update now but I don't think it's important enough to put in the truth of my chest and bother everyone so I will put it here on my page. Many of you who are asking for more updates will see it hopefully. My brother-in-law texted me yesterday asking to see me. I agreed because I wanted to see what he's thinking and if I could help in any way. When we met he looked tired and miserable. He had my niece with him. I broke down crying because I haven't seen her before. I wasn't sure if I could ask to hold her but he didn't even hesitate in placing her in my arms. She's the spitting image of my little sister. So beautiful. He asked me to tell him everything and to be honest. When I finished my story, he told me that he never liked my husband, or rather never liked his wife's obsession with him. He said she always talked about him followed him closely on SM and automatically hated every woman he dated. My sister never really was in contact with my husband and she never called, texted or dumped him but she watched him closely. She commented when he gained weight or lost weight, grew a beard, gained muscles. And all while her husband was displeased and showing how uncomfortable he was with it. He asked her not to invite him to the wedding but she insisted on it. Now he said she was yelling that it was her fault that we met each other because she invited him. She should have listened to her husband. So now he had enough and unfortunately he can't see a way back. He cried and told me he feels like he's letting his baby down and I cried so much for all three of them and because I felt guilty too. I don't understand why she's doing this. She had an amazing husband who adored her. And a baby she was dreaming about since we were teenagers. I asked him if he could just give her time to come out of her grief but he just shook his head. Afterwards he congratulated me and wished me good luck and left with my niece. I emailed mom everything so maybe she could help my sister. I haven't got any answer yet. Op I'm gonna be honest with you, you need to stop telling your mom this stuff. From the beginning you felt guilty, during your wedding you felt guilty, and even now you feel guilty. From the sounds of it you've been guilt tripped for a majority of your life to the point you think it's okay, but it's not, and I'm assuming your mom has done most of it since her favoritism is quite obvious. If anything she is gonna be mad at you again cause it was your younger sister's husband that you met up with. The golden child, the younger sister who could do no wrong, either one of them is probably gonna say something like oh, are you gonna try and steal him too? That mother has caused a lot of problems and they're never going to get better. Not as long as you let her stay in your life. The life that involves your husband, the person who's helping you right now, comforting you, telling you that it's not wrong for you to be in love. I know it'll be hard to go North Carolina with her, but just remember every time she makes you feel bad about yourself. The more you think about it the less it'll hurt, and please get one-on-one -on -one therapy cause being in a family that has a golden child can cause problems for the siblings. I just thought that if mom really wants to help her she should know how Bill is really feeling. He's so hurt and miserable and it's been going on for a long time without us knowing anything. You're a sweet person op, and I get that, but unfortunately your mother was the one who's been enabling your younger sister's behavior, and she keeps defending her. In one of your last posts she didn't exactly hesitate when she said what you did was horrible, did she? She didn't try to understand why, she just blamed you. Even if she does bring it up to your younger sister the conversation is gonna be about what you did, not about Bill. Stuff like this shouldn't be normal, but it's still common, and the people who have been in those situations their whole lives don't see a problem cause it's normal for them and the cycle continues. Save yourself the trouble op. They're not worth your kindness. Also ask Bill if anything that has recently happened is gonna affect you seeing your niece. Don't get me wrong, so far he sounds like a nice guy, but when it comes to custody, if they're not already divorced, 
most courts will be biased towards the mother, and your sister does not need to have any custody over her, not until she gets her own crap together. Don't ask him to stay with her, she was incredibly cruel to string him along all those years and constantly show him that he wasn't the one she wanted and that he could never be enough in her eyes because he wasn't your husband. She honestly needs therapy to come to terms with the fact that your husband doesn't, never has, and never will have feelings for her. I can't comprehend how she hasn't gotten that message in the past decade but this obsession is really unhealthy and concerning. He loves her greatly and he looked so miserable. I thought maybe couples therapy but of course it's up to him of course. I just. I'm going to be honest with you. You're an idiot for saying anything to your mother. I've been following this from the start of you posting on here and you just. Keep inviting this shit into your life. At some point, you have to let go or it becomes your fault for allowing this in your life and into your husband's life. And at some point, I'm sure your husband is going to get tired of it. You need to look deep and decide if you want to keep allowing them to treat you like this or if you want to move on, build a life with your husband and be happy. You have a few key choices to make. I'm going to North Carolina with my sister and mom. I just wanted to help. Maybe if mom knew what Bill went through she would be more helpful? I asked him if mom knew and he said no. I asked him if I could tell her because she's my sister. He said I could do whatever but he's not going back with my sister. I'm just trying to help my niece, even if I don't want mom and sis in my life anymore. For the love of God stop talking to your mother. Jesus. At a certain point you are the one inviting this shit in. Stop. Emailing. Your. Mother. I know. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are.